Hello everyone and welcome back to Anove. I'm Ranyakumo. Dark is here with me as your son. Hello. Probably to laugh at me at how bad I'm already being. I wasn't going to say nothing for you know the first minute and a half. <laughs> but we did find that. That's the thing. There are words written on the mural, but they are too big to scan. Try using specialized software. Yes, which we have now. The Alphor spoke of the vast expensive greens of what is known as Earth. Those who seek must speak the name of Lyoro. I think that's how it's pronounced. I'm trying to. I don't know. Your, your. Loro, I don't know. Either way, we have it there. Means, uh. and so if you check the map, that over there is the alternative entrance we checked uh, from the. Ah. From the roots of Yggdrasil last episode. Hmm. I should probably check how much damage this does. Not well, enough. About the same as the knife, I guess. And um, it's got good reach, so that helps. Crystal School acquired. Words of Moon. On our ship, Nidiru rests the Master School. Our great will shall be given to the bringer of the awakening. A will too great to be contained in such a puny dumb body. Ye who had gathered all twelve skulls, carry on our will. Can I? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I cannot scan it. Oh well, we were going down here anyway. We. And this time, now that we got the scales here, we're going this way. Glove, glove. First of all, there's a shop. What you want? Our very useful also. This. That's the race reader app. It reads ancient text and tells you which race it was inscribed by. Probably useful. Yeah. Especially to solve puzzles. Considering that we have multiple races down here. Yeah, which might be referencing puzzles from different areas. Anyway. Are you gonna read it? Oh. The Lokopala, regarded as intellectually inferior to the other tribes, created Chimera people to help fight against other races. This one is meant to be a cross between a human and a bee, but they've clearly stuck him in some sort of unfortunate outfit. It would probably turn him silent too. I think I don't think he is turned silent, I just think he doesn't want to speak because he's pissed off about everything else. I think that's kinda what he meant. Present the twelve skulls. The master school will impart the secrets of Eglana unto you. But before we do that, hello, Citus. That's a big fish. Yeah, time to spear him out. Yeah, I know I'm not affected by uh, water anymore, uh, but chase is kind of my usual strategy anyway. Yeah, and I mean, I admit I would do the same thing. I 
can just to smash down so I can <laughs> grab them. Do not go up there. It leads to a different... <laughs> it leads back to Anubin, I think. <laughs> Instead, those to look familiar. I think they might be making curry. They don't say. <laughs> oh crap! Marcus will get research papers. Also. Yeah, they put a trap right before them. More importantly, a tent. Whose tent? Her tent! Yay! <laughs> How do you like it? It's pretty sweet here, huh? There are no monsters around, so I can sleep peacefully. I'm gonna set up camp here and then go do some exploring for a bit. If there's anywhere you haven't been yet, or anywhere you want me to check out, let me know and I'll do it. Any request? Okay, sure, check on Anofen. There were a lot of places you wouldn't get into in Anofen, right? Okay then, I'm gonna go off ahead and check things out. I mean, technically, we already can get into it, but... Damn! We can't die that jump, that, though. So. Well, yeah. It's more Brook. What do you think? But yeah, he is cheating by using two feathers. This is the immortal battlefield. The waterlogged roots of the Great Dream. She know, you know what, with two feathers in her headband. Oh yeah, we don't have a map yet. Correct. How astute of you! We did, however, find this thing. Kabanda. Kabanda is a headless monster, its eyes and mouth on its body. Originally, a spirit named Gandar who launched an attack from Valhalla. He challenged the local Pala leader Indra, only to have his head beaten firmly into his own body. Talk about an ass whooping. Indra is a bit of an asshole. Also, can we talk about the little, little, little ball dude just walked down the wall and across the ceiling? Yup. Your Mungarn is sealed in this land. A battle like a turbulent gale awaits stay with the golden key of our making. You sound a wee bit upset. The best part is I'm not even upset at your Mungarn, I'm just still upset at Palenque. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Make sure not to jump there. There are no tablets recording the Dark Star Lord's footprints. Tracy's footprints in the lands of the Dark Star. There, there, Ras Servant segment guards Athens' room and the room of judge, Judgment. Ah, interesting. Yeah, um, there's another one. Hey, map. Yeah, this place is huge. About... You could say. The Amarna were a race of fifth children who meddled in the arcane mysteries of life and death in hopes of escaping the mother's influence. The Inead fight tirelessly to keep them sealed. The Amarna and the Inead are exiled behind, behind the gate of the dead, wherein the light of souls keep them sealed. Fun. That's the word for it. Can we go in there yet? I don't remember. Oh yeah, that's that. Do you know of Nibiru? Nibiru is said to be the paradise inhabited by those who came down from the skies. Those who came down from the skies called themselves the Anunnaki. It was they who bestowed mankind with knowledge long, long ago. Nibiru is said to be on the other side of the dark star. Things are starting to come together already, huh? Pleasant chap. A locopola artisan, brooder of alcohol. While studying this trade, he ended up creating a sacred wine of immortality. The sacred wine is sealed away somewhere in Eglana. 
How do you go from uh, alcoholic to alcoholic to oh, I've got immortality. Well, you make alcoholic immortality. Look a brother up. I'm no fan of wine, but uh I don't mind trying some wine for that. And there's a little twat walking his way up the wall again. Man, he just don't care. Yeah, he, that's pretty tough. Watch out for the sent oh, sentry sees you. Yo, yeah. machine guns ain't fair. Yep. They just have those. Also. Casually hit them. Secret tunnel! Yeah, that. Thanks. <laughs> what, now excited to use even more weights? There is an establishment that trades in live fairies. Those who can win its favor may be able to buy the fairies their freedom. No shit. Also, do you see something suspicious here? Mm. Oh. Maybe something like that. <laughs> now, that now that I'm looking at it, yeah, kind of. It's me. I spotted a suspicious pair. They sped by at full speed while I was wandering around the immortal battlefield. Isn't that your dad and grandpa? Oh, so it was the old man I met at the Lamulena ruins. You're a little late there, Mo Brooks. Mm hmm. Also? Shortcut! Yay! And. Totem Pole! That'll come in handy. Yup. Ooh, more spears. Run like the wind, let, let your feet carry you. I get a hint for you for doing what I did. <laughs> no, you don't. The Loka Palace Secret Altar, an altar to the great god Indra, who wishes for the onset of the time of destruction. Only those be bearing the image of the Loka Palace protective deity will be permitted into the Divine Fold. Remember that shape down there in that image? Hmm... Okay. Also, this. Altar Gate. A gate that leads to the Loka Palace Ra Loka Palace Races Altar of Destruction. Those without the symbol of the Devout, the Dinosaur figure, are not permitted to enter. There's another shortcut down there. Uh, that one. Wee. Well, that's, that over there is not Dominus at all, isn't it? Yeah, not in the least. I don't know what you're talking about. More importantly, did you see that gate? I mean, that's a slight issue. It might take us a bit to actually get there. Bit of time. Come on, give me just a bit more. I need healing. Say that I need healing, damn it. Give me healing. Yes, you should win. All right. That's my dominus at all, is it? A small boss. Catalyze the stopper flow of time at the pit of time. An ancient machine will duly deliver you to the altar of time. Just completely ignoring Ratatoskor over there. 
Because of course he's back. Using the exact same tricks as the last time. Plus one extra one. There's one new trick, ironically making him slightly less threatening. That's if mostly just because I know how to deal with him, but yeah, I kind of messed up. Yeah. Well, I mean, that new charge attack basically means... Also? Uh, Alright, she went to explore. Yeah. And that new charge attack you can pretty much predict. Well, you can edge then... him into it by, by stepping on the right spot. That's kind of the problem. Or the trick, I guess. You know what I mean. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, we've read all of this. The hell is this place's problem? You kill one creepy crawler and another tree takes its place. I'm out of weapons, the only thing I got is, got is this aspirin, but... Well, I guess this is it, but I'm so... Mom, Dad, I hope you can forgive me for being a terrible so... Eww. That was an aspirin. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was not an aspirin. That was most definitely cyanide. Quickly do all of this again. And this time I'm actually going to save before facing him again. Save my chinkons, what else they have? Have we been here before? Oh, yeah. Dumb question. So you will see. And before you ask, we've been here before too. Yeah, a little like them all work. And we'll be in Terra's one. Alright, let's go save before I mess up again. Before you get sh shot in by the angry squirrel. Yeah, I thought I'd be fine because I know the pattern pretty well, but then I kinda just messed up. Uh, I might as well. So there's another altar kit here. I was too slow and now it's, it is too late for me, but I know you can do it. If only you got to me sooner. Yeah, about that. That's not suspicious looking at all. That's their curry color tent. That's your dad and grandpa's tent. So they were here investigating on their own after all. I guess they wanted to see a bunch of brown and they're probably worried about you too. I'll screw up their tent, okay? Or, well, it's your dad, so go ahead, I guess. Hey, then. Yeah, if you don't jump right before hitting those pressure plates, they will still crush you no matter how fast you go. That's silly. I mean, you just need to know to jump in time, so... 
Hey, Marco Sugi Research Papers. Mm. We have a, a few now. Feel free to post the video on Reel. That's uh, a bit much. Okay, now let's save again because we did technically do more stuff. Uh, save? Better save again, just be sure. It's me! I found the entrance to one of them. It's in the back of that room in the rest of Yggdrasil that had the biggest squirrel. I'm one of the seven children, so the gate just opened up for me. I guess it probably wouldn't work for you, though. You might be able to make it through if you can take down that squirrel. I mean, we did. Anyway, that room before the gate of anything is... is kind of fishy. I mean, we, um, are, we already know how to open it, so... Not really an issue, I just can't help because she needed to be sent there. You'll see why soon. Is there simply t sending her to t tell her, telling her to go take a nap? Yes, it was very important that we sent her there. Alright. Literally just cheese his entire pattern. <laughs> of course, it wouldn't be as easy if you don't know about it, but... <laughs> yeah. Anyway, another crystal school, and this. There is a gear-shaped hollow in the machine-like object. Bit of time. Still mm. the same thing. Let's go here. Let's go save. Very good, yeah. Probably. Um, okay, sure. Um, words of Tutu. We found the puny ones here in this land, legless like the serpent, with dumb bodies to match. Be done for puny ones, we shall allow you to serve us. Remember what I told you not to do earlier? Wee, wee. All right, the water aren't... Whoops. All right, because yeah, so I need to go. I think it's up there. First of all, point. Yay, platform! What's it for? You'll find out later. <laughs> or more importantly, G who seek to open the floodgates. Know that this waterlocked land's awakening will also be the great serpents. When water of Yggdrasil's roots flows through these lands, the great serpents shall be raised, and all paths will come alive. Okay. So, there's a thing down there. I need to go back to get mm. it. Yeah, she's not like yet. Well, might as well go get it. Actually, first. I just wanted to shut that off. In fact, 
I'm just gonna take a peek. Okay then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how about now? <laughs> Was trippy. You've seen nothing of that place yet. <laughs> Acquired. We ow. Well done. Soak in the weather for your body to be healed. Yeah. You can technically use that as a hot spring, but it actually uh, costs you money to enter, so meh. Hmm. Clashing lands of searing heat and freezing cold lie beyond Nidhogg's gate. The lands of the peak of Yggdrasil that constitute the ice fire treetop. Acquire the power to withstand both hot and cold. Yeah, that's gonna be a bit more difficult, but yeah, we can't open that chest yet. I don't feel like going to the right yet either, that place is annoying. Oops. Let's go to... yeah, that's where it is. That place is also annoying, I'll go there later. But hey, this shop opened because we opened the flood gates. Hero Roderick. Hey, hey, hey! I sell the stuff I scored around the ruins! You look so crazy. Can I shoot him, please? I mean, it would make getting this thing a lot easier. Have you noticed the amount of numbers in our coin storage? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like he's a ripoff. Yeah, okay. Yay! There are two seals that are hidden by, by falling water. Check the back of the three-eyed waterfall. I just realized I could probably have pressed that button before the water was activated, but now I can't. <laughs> mm. And that happened because we activated <laughs> the water as one. Those who possess Mjolnir can harness the power of storms. Lightning that strikes them will be theirs to wield. They simply need to raise the hammer. Bring the thunder hammer's might to bear upon the pillar it resembles. Hmm. So yeah, I guess we get to use Mjolnir. Also, hello Yama. You've grown a bit larger, haven't you? <laughs> I am king of the underworld, but lo, I have been cast out of my own underworld, the lion beneath Yggdrasil. There reside several underworld rulers, one for each race. It is now controlled by the woman called Hel, the one who cast me out. O oh, Tempora, O oh, Mores. Do you have anything else to say? Not really, not yet at least. We have a few glossary entries, but first... Yeah, there's the... there's the backside. Hmm. That's a bit hard to get to, but we'll get there later. Power will be bestowed upon those who can withstand body melting heat. Well, where there's ruins, there's lava, huh? Fall into it and you're screwed, but there's a treasure that will make the lava appearable. It's a mysterious cave called the Ice Cave. Hope you can find it. 
Well, you're still young. You can probably press through that lava with pure vigor, huh? Mm. No, I don't think so. So, this fossil stumped quite uh, many people, myself included. <laughs> Mostly because a lot of people forgot you could crouch. Mm. The question is now how do you get to the other one? Because if you do this, it resets. You can figure out what it is, can't you? Pure vigor, huh? Yep. Worth it though! Chain whip! The other part has stumped a lot of people, <laughs> but that they need to get it from down here because it looks like it's like you can't go through. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Hey, now we have the chain whip. It sounds awesome. Mm. Next time, we're probably going to go to the gate of the bed. Yay! That or fight Nidhogg. That or fight Nidhogg. I'm not sure which option is worse. No. Oh. Yes. Oh well, hope you all you all have fun, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Later's.